Hey everyone, welcome to the weekly reading for Sagittarius. I hope you guys are all doing amazing. Sending all of you love and light. So we have cannot be trusted. Not a great card for the first card to come out, all right? We have the chariot. Cancer energy. We have the five of wands. Hmm. And temperance. Clarify the cannot be trusted card. Empress. The Empress. So the feminine feels like the the feminine looks like it's the feminine is feeling like they cannot trust possibly the masculine. Clarify the chariot. It's like you guys are, yeah, children. Children affecting your connection. Hmm. Clarify five of wands. Karmic partner. Ooh, somebody's fighting with a karmic partner about you. Yep. What is this? Temperance. We have the sun. Leo energy. And the king of pentacles. For some of you, there was a karmic person, partner around your person that was trying to convince them that they couldn't trust you i'm gonna get clear if, if you could be dealing with an earth sign to a taurus virgo or a capricorn clarify cannot be trusted in the empress the two of cups and the five of pentacles okay the five of swords it's almost like okay what about the five of swords though rejection i was getting that so somebody is feeling defeated or they will end up feeling defeated because i just saw the queen of pentacles on the back of the deck could be a double earth sign connection that you guys are in um i feel like somebody here is desiring to be with you but you don't trust this person um they could have made too many false promises you may feel that like this person is manipulative they play mind games um you may even feel like they betrayed you they're toxic there's something about this person that it's like an aversion. Like you have an aversion to this person. You can feel like they have like their ego is too big. There's something about this person. And there's definitely a heavy energy here of rejection. So it looks like you guys are rejecting this person. Yeah, we have page of wands in the back of the deck. So you may receive communication from them. What is up with this rejection energy? We have the King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag, Energy, and Undecided. Oh, this person could just be afraid to come towards you. So I see that this whoever this masculine energy is could be a fire sign for some of you. This person is indecisive about whether or not they want to take action towards you. So they want, this person wants everything with you. This person's a little, is, with children, I'm kind of getting immaturity, but I'm going to get a clarifier on that too. But it's like somebody feels left out in the cold. They want a relationship with you. Very strong connection here, obviously. It's almost like this person feels like even if they did come in and they're being completely genuine and honest with you and offering you something serious, 444 on the camera, yeah, something stable, committed, that maybe you wouldn't even accept this from them or you wouldn't trust that it's something that they're being serious. You wouldn't trust it. So it's just they played too many games. Yeah, and now they're in regret. They regret it with the five of cups here. They're doing a lot of thinking about their actions and what they did and how they betrayed you. Ten of swords here. But this person wants you back. It's like somebody that betrayed you wants you back. After they, they could have left you to go towards a situation for money or because they were having financial issues. Huh. Some of you guys are choosing money over love. Now, like, you're not really focusing too much on, you know, forging a relationship with anybody. You're just focused on your finances or your career. Clarify the chariot and children. We have the queen of wands. The, char the chariot, children, and queen of wands. And the wheel of fortune. And we have the magician. But why is children here? The king of cups. Children. This person's emotionally immature. This person's emotionally immature, but they have a lot of feelings and emotions for you. Overwhelmed by their feelings and emotions for you that they did they don't even know how to handle these feelings and emotions. Yeah. Ace of Cups, King of Cups. Yeah, this person, yeah, separation is necessary. 
this is somebody's feelings that have been growing over time or that they have been growing for you. They could have been, they could have felt less for you in the past than they do now. Like they feel a lot more for you now than they did before, but it's something. What about lessons? They've learned some type of lesson. Yeah, Queen of Swords, death and the ripped apart. Oh, Spirit is saying that you setting boundaries with this person, cutting them off, speaking your truth or speaking some type of truth to them, something you said to them, an ending that occurred between you and this person has been a catalyst or has triggered this person to become a lot more vulnerable. This is somebody that's only going to really awaken or open up or surrender to their feelings and emotions for you through, through your absence or in your absence. So if you guys are already in separation from this person and have been, they've been going through a, a heart chakra, like they're, they've been going through like a heart opening or their feelings have been growing for you. Absence makes the heart grow fonder in this situation or with this person. Okay, they've been also learning some some lessons, it looks like here. But this person is feeling like now they want what you want. Or like, it's like not, yeah, it's like they want to make something happen with you or something like that. Now, Gemini, Virgo, Aries, energy with the magician. Yeah, look at this, the nine of cups. Or at least that's what they're wishing and hoping that they'll have the opportunity to, to do so. Or it's like this person is viewing you as their wish fulfillment. It's almost like the feelings, I don't want to say the feelings weren't mutual in the past. It's just that this person wasn't as emotionally mature as you and they weren't, they weren't as awakened as you were. Now this person is like kind of on your level. Like they, they've kind of gotten onto your level or they're about to like your level of like how you feel and what you want and like... what you want to make happen within this connection. Now they're kind of getting on that same page as you. Yeah, look at this. It, guys, I cannot. Confirmation. Six of Pentacles. Reciprocity. Balance. Equal give and take. So let's see here. They've been going through a maturing process. What about the Three of Pentacles? I mean, the Three of Cups, though. I don't like that. The Ace of, oh, the Ace of Swords and the Lovers. Yeah, this person, if this person had a choice between two people, they made a decision. Or they just gain clarity that they want to have it. If they didn't have a third party, they just gain clarity that they want to have an equal give and take with you. They didn't see this clearly before. They made up some type. They made some type of decision in regards to you, and it's in regards to offering you a steady union, offering you something stable and committed. Yeah, and it's been taking this person Knight of Pentacles a really long time to offer this to you, or to even realize that this is what they want. Yeah, Nine of Swords. It's time. I feel like somebody feels like they took too long, too, to, to offer this to you. Yeah, it's time. Dark Knight of the Soul. Why is the Nine of Swords here? The Ten of Swords, yeah. The Three of Swords. This person hurts you by their inability to commit to you or to give you something solid. Yeah, Page of Pentacles. Unawakened. What did I say about this person? They were giving you very little... Yeah, look, this card literally says on a youthful energy. They were just very immature. They weren't ready for what you were ready for. So what I'm saying is that this person is now getting on your level. Now they're wanting what you're, now they're pretty much ready for what you were ready for. But let's see how you feel about that. This is for those of you that have definitely, I mean, obviously if you're coming to a 20 flame reading, odds are you're in separation from them, but with them, but um. Uh, there are okay we, wait a minute we forgot to take a look at what is five of wands and karmic partner because remember i said earlier they may not have a third party well there's a blatant third party here so are they realizing how much they care about you and love you and what they want with you through another connection is that you know karmics come into our lives so that we can learn karmic lessons so I just said earlier that they have been learning lessons in your separation. It could have been with another person. Clarify the five of wands. Yeah, it could be somebody that they're married with, married to or that they live with. Lord, four of wands, karmic partner, five of wands, waiting. What about waiting? Three of pentacles. Then the world. What is what? The tower. The three of cups. The, yeah, what about the Three of Cups in the Tower? The Knight of Wands, uh-oh. And the Ace of Pentacles. This is weird. The Ten of Cups, what about the Ten of Cups? The Six of Swords. 
the three of wands this person's ready to move on to something else yeah rejection it's almost like this person's using this third party as a placeholder yeah it's like if this person knew they could come towards you and you would 100 percent accept them they would be leaving this person they're waiting on something I don't like that. I don't, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't like that energy. This person is dealing with this third party. They are, they're either married to them or living with them, whatever, supposedly committed to them. That's why I said supposedly committed. What did I see earlier? The Knight of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles. That's not a real commitment. So they're supposedly, it may look like they may be in, you know, be in a relationship on Facebook or whatever, or they may, it may, they may tell person people that that's their girlfriend or, or boyfriend or whatever, but they're actually cheating on this person or they're dealing with other people on this person. I'm also kind of getting like this person doesn't want to be a player anymore, but yeah, it's like they're dealing with this person. They want to close out a cycle with whoever this is. But it's like they're not doing it because they're waiting for you to come back. This person doesn't like to be alone. Hence why this card literally says codependency on it. I mean, that's not the reason why, but I'm, I'm drawn to how this card says codependency on it. They're fighting with this person, though, possibly because that person thinks that they're cheating on them. Or they know that there's another person that they're dealing with or something like that, but... Or vice versa. But it's like this person doesn't want to be with this third party. They just are afraid to come towards you and get rejected by you. I also feel like they've been for some reason resisting the connection with you. But yeah, that's what it is. I kind of feel like no, more so right now. It's like if they knew that they could come towards you and you would 100% take them back, they would be they would leave this person. But the fact that they don't know. But see, with the tower here, though, Something is blowing up in this person. It's like the divine is not going to let this person do this anymore. Where they like to have their, 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 like they like to have two options just in case one of them falls through. Or they like to have that security blanket. That's not fair to that person and it's not fair to you either. So with the tower here, I feel like the divine intervened here when it came to this third party situation. To Like what, what happened here? Because the divine's like, no, you're not going to keep doing this one. No. What happened? What was the tower? The king of wands. Mirroring. Two of pentacles. And the ace of cups. So, the queen of cups. The eight of swords. What happened with the tower? The money focus. So, somebody... They could have been dealing with a water sign, a Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpio that they felt stuck or trapped with because of money reasons. Didn't I say earlier, they could have went towards somebody for money or because they needed that person to help them financially. It's almost like the divine is forcing this person to awaken to their feelings and emotions for you. Like so much so that they cannot comfortably stay in this situation. Or It's like they, it's like they can't just, they maybe used to be able to choose super re, uh, relationships for superficial reasons. That it's like they can't do it anymore. Confirmation, King of Cups. Yeah, this person. Yeah. Long wait. Yeah, it's been a long wait waiting for this person to, to grow up. To a mature emotion. Look at this, guys. Look at this. Confirmation. We have the Page of Cups, the Knight of Cups, and the King of Cups. Look at the progression here. Look at this person emotionally maturing. Slowly. Heavy on the slowly because we do have... Long wait here. But it's been happening. Page of Cups, Knight of Cups, King of Cups. We know more. We have the Here Font, Taurus Energy, and the Four of Swords, and the Seven of Pentacles. Yeah. The Six of Pentacles. You guys maybe even told this person, like, if it's not stable, committed, reciprocal, balanced, I don't want it. And if it's not that, I'm not engaging in that. I, I want, I'm trying to build for the future. I'm trying to build something stable and solid. Like, and I don't want, I want to work on building a life with somebody. So let's get some oracles. I'm not mad at this reading. i am be honest. I, I quite kind of like it. It looks good. It looks like somebody is actually growing up the fuck up you know and i like to see that but as far as what they've got going on with this i don't know let's see what's happening next 
before I move into this deck, have they left that person or not? I see them arguing with that person. So, uh, I don't like that. Six of Pentacles. Are they still with that person? Five of Pentacles. For some of you, for some of you, the tower moment for this person was if that person was helping them out financially, that person could have like, because we have the five of Pentacles now. death and the fool they i think they actually you know what with death and the fool they've taken a leap of faith or they're about to this person knows that if they leave this other person they won't have enough money or they'll be broke they won't have a place to live they won't have a place to stay they know that they'll be going with did i say that earlier what did i say earlier i don't know i, I may might have been just thinking it but it's almost like this person knows that it's some, this per, whoever this third party was, was giving something to them, helping them out financially, giving them a place to stay or something like that. But I think that they've taken a, a leap of faith and ended things with this person. With the five of pentacles, they could have ghosted this person. But the, with the five of pentacles, it's like they're in like an energy of lack since they made this decision. So they may not have enough money to pay all their bills. They may be homeless. They may be sleeping on somebody's couch. But it's like they're doing it. Or they have done it. Or they will be soon. But I do feel like this person feels like they're worried that you will, you'll reject them. Healing, healing emotional wounds. Yeah, recovering, repairing, improving. I was kind of seeing that this person is starting to heal. You can't heal because I keep seeing the four of swords. Yeah, it's right here on the back of the deck that I was just using. You can't heal in the same environment that was causing you to, you know, that broke you or that wounded you. So... Yeah, creative forces. Your creativity is endless. The creative power you hold within is far greater than you realize. Artist inspiration. You've inspired this person to heal. Or somebody's feeling inspired to heal here. Yeah, be more. Yeah, this person's somebody's talking good about you. Your reputation is very good at this time, or you're being talked about in a positive way. So somebody has a good reputation manifesting coming in very soon so yeah they may not be here coming in yet but they will be coming towards you soon but i do see an energy of you guys not trusting this person the feminine won't trust the masculine like not knowing if you can believe what they say or what they're expressing to you the wait is over in the works allowing conscious thinking dreams into reality and revelation tell me more guarded yeah that what did i just say y'all <laughs> What did I just say? Needing time to feel secure. You're not going to trust this person. See, I feel like you've been waiting for this person a, for a long time to, to awaken, to see the connection the way you see the connection, to see what y'all could have been that they, for some reason, weren't seeing. Well, they're, they've are they gotten there or they're about to get there. And because this card literally says what you've been wanting is manifesting. It says the wait is over. But you're now you're going to be guarded towards it. And I, I feel like I did a reading like this last week. Look at this. You guys have a wish granted coming in here. What you've asked for is coming true. Meditate on your desired outcome to assist in manifesting in the manifestation process. Miracles, good luck, and prayers. You're getting what you want with your twin here. For them to change, break boundaries, erase all identifications, anything which fixes you permanently into one mold. New way, different, and unique. You were, you were hoping, you were wanting change in this connection. It's coming in. But I see you guys just kind of not being open to it. I see you guys possibly taking a minute to decide what you're going to do about this. Says so be mindful of your self-talk and solve your problems with, with the fullest and mental clarity. And we have breakthrough. I feel like this person definitely um, needed some time to pause and reflect. And it's leading to a, yeah, we have breakthrough here. It says a significant breakthrough is near. Whatever you're going through is preparing you for the, this big break. Discovery, progress, and big boost. Yeah, you're going to be kind of really stuck on how there was an imbalance. But with memories, that's past energy, right? So you're stuck on it, how in the past things are very one-sided or very like there was just like no balance in the connection with you and this person. Unequal give and take. But 
I do feel like this person regrets this, but it says the past coming back, holding on to the past. What was the, else was there on the back? Yeah, coffee cup and commitment. Somebody is coming in being honest with you because this card says healing begins with honest talk. So not only are you guys healing individually, there will be an opportunity to heal this connection as well. So somebody will want to talk to you. It looks like they are being honest with you and they do want commitment with you. It says commit to this next stage in your development and there will be a promise fulfilled in some form. Long term determined and all in. So somebody's coming in all in now. Not half step, stepping all in. But this is somebody that knows that they, they've had to take a look in the mirror and clean up their life. Correct their bad behaviors. Have an ego death. Set, put their pride aside. Make some positive life changes. But it looks like this person has done that or they're about to. Keep doing what you're doing and your goodwill will come back to you tenfold. Just know that whatever you put into this person, it wasn't in vain. Some of you guys can be feeling like you put gave a lot to this person and they didn't give anything back to you. Well, they're going to be coming in to give it back to you tenfold, Spirit says. This card literally says generosity, windfall, and trade off. This person's going to be kissing your ass. But look, we have joyful tap chapter and we have baby steps and we have good choices. Spirit is saying that I don't look, this doesn't look bad, y'all. Nope. At all. 